I'm R. Pietti, one of the co-authors of Warnings. And I'm Dick Clark, the other co-author. We're joined here today with Lori Garrett, one of the few, if not the only person to win the Pulitzer, the Polk, and the Peabody. Um, so let's turn to something else scary, CRISPR. <laughs> You know, people need to remember that CRISPR is a natural phenomenon coming from the war between bacteria and viruses. And it's used by bacteria, has been for probably four billion years, to chop viral RNA and DNA out of the bacteria, bacteria's uh, genome so that the integrity genetically of the bacteria is maintained. The miracle is that it took humanity so long to find this process going on right in front of us. But now you know, we know. Now we know. And now we know that we can actually do what's called gene drive, meaning that it's not just that I'm going to take one of our little skin cells and make a little alteration for the heck of it, see what happens to his skin cells. I could take um, RP's germline cells and alter them so that all of his children would carry that alteration and their children and their children and their children so that after a few generations it becomes a very significant phenomenon in the human race. Well, for us that means it takes a few centuries before you're actually altering human evolution. But if you're messing with bacteria, if you're messing with rapidly reproducing microorganisms or even insects and so on, why you could totally alter evolution now and in, do it. In, in one generation. In one generation, or certainly in a matter of weeks to months or years, depending on if you release it into nature. And completely destroy natural processes and food chains and other things as well. Some call this directed evolution. About 10 years ago, uh, when mass genetic sequencing became really fast, automated, mm -hmm. super cheap, what's called metagenomics, more and more American-based and Western European-based scientists started farming that tedious work out to China. To China. Right. And now the largest database of all of the world's genomes, of everything from viruses to humans, is maintained at Beijing Genomics Institute a sort of public-private combination with a lot of investors that happen to be on the Politburo of the Chinese Communist Party. Right. And they are very actively pursuing dominance in the field of CRISPR. And, that's, uh, and it, it creates the possibility not only of weapons, but of superhumans. Yes. Well, and the Chinese are very, very interested in enhancing intelligence in human beings. So they're already doing human CRISPR manipulations. Uh, but, you know, what What's going on in Russia? We have no idea. And one of the things I worked on and warned the world about back in the early 90s was the revelation that the largest deliberate genetic manipulation of organisms for bioweapons purposes was all secretly uh, in the former Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And I went when I got inside the Vector laboratory, located in Siberia, outside of Novosibirsk, I was stunned by its scale. Yeah. It was a huge program, and there's a nationwide program, and yes. U.S. intelligence knew nothing about it. No, and we still don't really know what and remained in the hands of the military side in Russia. We, ne we never got that information. Never.